Hey guys, uh, following the feedback that I got from my fans in Paris uh, back in July, uh, I've removed the green screen and uh, also I filmed so many videos in advance and I don't necessarily want to play them in the right order, so this is probably not going to be the last video with the green screen. So that was just to clear things up. Also, um, I want to show you guys something really cool, and it's again that mirror 11 by 11 I promised I would make another video about it. This is a pattern video. So I actually brought this in Paris with me, and everyone was like, wow, is that the thing that, that was on JR Cuber's channel? Is that the bump sanity? And I was like, yeah, and, they, and then they saw my puzzles, and they were like, meh, I, I've never seen this before, what is it? <laughs> So yeah, anyways, it was it was really fun to bring it over there. People were really interested in that. So uh, so I figured, yeah, I should definitely make a, a new video about this. So this is going to be a pattern video, and obviously I'm going to start with the easiest, the most obvious one, the checkerboard pattern. Uh, that's the one that I um, used to put this on display in Paris, uh, although it usually changed from, uh, from the checkerboard to its natural state because of people wanting to play with it. And, and you know, bring it back to its original shape and bring it back to the, the checkerboard. And, uh, and so yeah, that's uh, really the, the first pattern that I want to do because it's really the most basic and uh, the most common pattern that you see on, on pattern videos. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now, uh, from above you can't see much, especially when it's misaligned, but um, every single piece is not next to another piece of the same size, obviously, since it's a checkerboard and it's a mirror cube. So it's actually quite impressive, like when you see this, you've got the shallowest face and the, and the tallest face, and between the two there's like this huge gap of about uh, 1.5 centimeters. So, so this is quite impressive when you look at it. Um, let's see, from this side, for example, it's incredible. Now, uh, that's the first pattern, the most obvious one. So let's go back to a cubic shape now and, uh, and see which one we're going to do next. Okay, so now it's back into its cubic shape. The super flip is going to be very difficult to, to make because it's it's a quite difficult uh, position. It's actually mathematically, I think, the the most the furthest position from solving the cube. So there's going to be a lot of algorithms because I'm going to have to do the super flip by using this as a three by three, then by using this, then this, this, and the final one. So I, I'm going to have to do six super flips. To, to get the pattern right, so let's go. Okay, for info, this is what it looks like after one super flip of the 3x3 three three on the outside. So it looks pretty unstable because these are edges of different sizes on every face because of the super flip, you know? Every face on the, on the sides of one face are different sizes, so obviously one face cannot be flat. Hence the instability when you're just putting it down. So let's move on to the second 3x3. Three three. Okay, so as you can see, this is starting to look like something, right? You can see that these centers, these edges, and these corners are the same height. So it still looks like a mess. So I'm just going to finish that, and we'll see the final result. Uh, I'm going to turn off the camera, though, for this section, because it's not very important. And, uh, well, the thing is, it's taking me a long time, because the more scrambled this is, the, the more difficult it is to turn. So, so yeah. Okay, so here's the result. I actually screwed up when I was doing the fourth uh, 3 by 3 and it was so confusing uh, doing the super flip uh, just manually as if you were solving a 3 by 3 when the whole thing is partially scrambled. So it was kind of challenging to get it back into the super flip and then doing the, the final super flip. Anyways, this is what it looks like. I gotta be honest, it, it's a nightmare. Like It looks completely scrambled and it is incredible. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought it was gonna look better, but it, it was actually a lot of pain and suffering for nothing. Um, so yeah, this is the super flip on a twisted, uh, on a mirror 11 by 11. So you can see here, you get those, uh, those sort of steps right there. And you're gonna get the same ones here and everywhere because, you know, this is a, a super flip pattern. And um, 
So yeah, I think it could have looked better. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like. And uh, so I'm gonna bring it back to a cube shape and I'll do one last pattern. Uh, <laughs> I really don't wanna bring this back to a cube shape. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Okay, so here I am six hours after messing up. Uh, thank you, Casey, for making a puzzle that's so difficult to solve. Uh, <laughs> Um, well, I decided to make one last pattern because I need to ship this out to the next person or back to KC, I don't know yet. And uh, I've decided to go for the, you know, the center permutation pattern. So I'm going to do that one. Uh, that one's going to be quick, so I'm probably going to leave the video on. And uh, I'll see you in about, uh, well, 10 seconds. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and I think it looks really great on that puzzle. Um, the thing is, since it's a mirror cube, and uh, since I did it all the t uh, well, all three times in the same uh, direction, so uh, counterclockwise from that corner, uh, you can actually see waves like going up, down, back up. Here, it's probably the best one. Uh, it goes down all the way down, then back up slowly, then back down. Same here, you can see waves, and that's really nice. I think it, it looks definitely, definitely great. Let's see what it looks like on the, on the shallowest face, which is this one. Um, you can see it, it sticks out much more than on the other faces. I, I think it looks really great, so that's a, a nice pattern. But then again, um, in, my, in my opinion, I think patterns look better on uh, stickered puzzles uh, following this, uh, this video. Uh, but then again, that's just my opinion. I, I did think the checkerboard pattern on that one looked amazing. So that's, uh, yeah, I, th I think the checkerboard pattern is great on mirror puzzles. Maybe not the other patterns, although uh, they are quite impressive on a, tw on a mirror 11 by 11. So, so yeah, let's go backwards now, and, uh, and that should do it. Okay, so I've had the chance to make patterns and to solve it. Uh, that was an accident, but at least I've had the chance to solve it. And uh, I'm going to give you my final impressions on this one. Uh, I think it's an amazing puzzle. The build quality is incredible. Uh, it's definitely one of the best collector's items that anyone could have. Um, now, uh, on a solving point of view, um, I want to say that it was kind of frustrating, though. I mean, the, the puzzle turning quality is perfect, right? The, the turning is great. It's, it's super smooth, but the thing is, when it's fully scrambled, um, it's very hard to align the layers because they tend to, like for example, if you're in, in this situation here, it's going to be difficult to align because the reflex of, the, of the, the geometry is to align the top of the parts like that. And then you have, you're going to have to tweak, but when you tweak like that, uh, some of the layers are going to get misaligned. So it's actually quite difficult to get it right. And I think it's 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 quite frustrating when you're trying to solve it. It's it's not a matter of um, of turning quality. This is the highest quality mod that I've ever seen. Um, it is a uh, a matter of geometry, and you can't really avoid it. So uh, I wouldn't solve it again. Although I would definitely pay hundreds of dollars to have it in my collection. So definitely one of my favorite favorite mods of all time. Uh, nevertheless, I wouldn't use it that much uh, as a as a puzzle to solve. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe. As always, uh, I've got Instagram now, so uh, feel free to check out the pictures that I upload there and my Twitter, Facebook, and everything. And I will see you in the next video.